City in 1913, the boss was rich and the poor were slaves. The women working and children starving. Then on came Larkin like a mighty wave. The workers cringed when the boss man pondered. Seventy hours was his weekly chore. He asked for little and less was granted. With getting little, then he'd ask for more. In the month of August, the boss man told us no union man for him could work. We stood by Larkin and told the boss man we'd fight or die, but we wouldn't shirk. Eight months we fought and eight months we starved. We stood by Larkin through thick and thin. But foodless homes and the crying of children, it broke our hearts. We just couldn't win. Then Larkin left us. We seemed defeated. The night was black for the working man. But on came Connolly with new hope and counsel. His motto was that we'd rise again. In 1916, in Dublin City, the English soldiers, they burnt our town. They shelled our buildings and shot our leaders. The half was buried neath the bloody crown. They shot McDermott and Pearson Clumpet. They shot McDonough and Clark the Brave. From Bleak Kilmainham, they took their bodies to Arbor Hill and a quicklime grave. But last of all of the seven heroes, I'll sing the praise of James Connolly. The voice of justice, the voice of freedom, 